my name is Valerie. I'm uh, from Lebanon. I'm a tennis coach and I'm currently the captain of the national girls team under 12 near Beirut in Kisarwain area. At some point at 18 years old, I decided I want to pursue a professional career in tennis. So I decided to go into coaching. And this is how my journey began at 18, 19 years old. As a coach, first of all, for me the most important thing is to actually understand why people are coming to learn tennis. For me it's very different if someone is coming to play as a pro or just coming to meet friends to have an after school activity. You deal with stuff differently when you know why the kids are here or the, whoever comes to the court are here. My dad is a coach also, he's a level 2 coach. The, I grew up sharing the same passion as him and somehow I followed his path. We share some ideas, we share some thoughts, even though he has a, his own experience in coaching and I have mine, but the basics are the same. I come from a family where women are strong, independent, uh, successful in everything they do, starting from my grandma, my mom, my aunt, myself, my sister, my cousin. We are all strong, independent women who knows what they want in life. For me, gender equality in the work field and the job opportunities is to have the same openings and the same opportunities. And many years back, uh, a man booked a session at the club and when he came to the court, he saw me, he said, no, I will not be playing with you. And it made me doubt myself, doubt my abilities, why he doesn't want to play with me, uh, am I not good enough, etc. But after taking it in and realizing that this is well, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger for me. We live in a difficult culture here. We live in a man's world, basically, for so many years, and it's not going to change overnight. So it needs lots of work, lots of years to, to change this way of thinking in the work field. I always had the same opportunities as my male co-workers. I really, really would like to thank my federation for this. I've always felt like a part of the family, and I've always felt their support at least here in Lebanon and probably in the Middle East, we work as freelancers. We don't sign any contracts with any clubs. The, the day we work is the day we get paid. For example, if I wake up sick and I don't, want to, don't go to work, I don't get paid. I don't get maternity leaves. I don't have insurance. I pay for my own insurance. We don't have social security number. And for me, I think this is the first reason why we don't have as women coaches in the area. If you look around, we are two or three co female coaches. That's it. If you have this passion and you, you love tennis the way I do and you're thinking about going through, uh, through coaching, for me it's a very beautiful path to be able to share this passion. It's not going to be easy. There will be some stuff to struggle with, but no one said it was easy from the first place. Just be confident and don't, don't let anyone to shake your self-confidence. And I think this is it's a beautiful path to go through.